On April 11th, 2007, almost seven years ago from today's date, Martin McNeil murdered his wife, Michelle. Her death was not the result of an accident, and it was most certainly not the result of a heart condition. The defendant carried out a cold and calculated plan to murder his wife. Make no mistake, the defendant's fingerprints, if you will, are all over Michelle McNeil's death. A trial like this is about the truth. It's not about games. It's not about gotcha moments among the attorneys or the witnesses. It's about getting to the bottom of what happened to Michelle McNeil. And that is that she was murdered by her husband. Martin's secret life with Gypsy Willis was beginning to intersect with his life with Michelle. Two weeks after his wife's death and the defendant's paramour, his mistress, is in the home. And the testimony is that shortly thereafter, the sexual relations begin to. The timing of this overdose is significant, ladies and gentlemen, because it was the first opportunity the defendant had to be alone with his wife following the surgery, where he was in control of the drugs. The very next morning, when the defendant has access to her, Michelle's dead by 11.30 or so, dead in the bathtub. And she has almost the same cocktail of drugs that he administered to her. It is time for the truth to have its day. It's been almost seven years since Michelle's death. It is time for the truth to come out. Do the right thing. Do the right thing and convict Martin McNeil of murder and obstructing justice.